Hi, this is a screencast by AsianEfficiency.com. My name is Tan, and in this video, I want to show you how I use OmniFocus. Now, the way I use OmniFocus is a little bit different than what most people do. So I want to show you in the screencast how I use it and why I think it's really effective. So in my article on AsianEfficiency.com, I described this imaginary user, Tom. And this is his database. And in the article, I also described the, the phases of getting things done and how I apply that to OmniFocus. So the first phase is capturing. And capturing is simply the idea of putting your thoughts into the Omni, OmniFocus inbox. So here I am right now in the OmniFocus inbox. And if you're here, then capturing is really easy because all you do is press the return key. And things will automatically get added into your inbox. So let's say um, Tom needs to call Joanne for a date. Boom, it's in his inbox. Now there will be times when you are not within OmniFocus. Let's say you're browsing on the web. And wow, nice iPhone. And <laughs> you need to capture an idea really quickly. So what you want to do then is you use the quick entry shortcut. And the quick entry shortcut can be found uh, here on the general tab. So for me, it's control, option, spacebar. So let's say I'm browsing and I need to ask Jenny if she can work overtime next week. And I really want to make sure it gets into my inbox. So I use the shortcut. So you, a window pops up and you write down your thought, ask Jenny if she can work overtime next week. And you press return, and then you will see that it is in your inbox right here. Okay, so that is capturing in a really simple manner. Now the next phase is processing. And processing is simply cleaning up your inbox and making sure that the action items in your inbox eventually get into the right project and you give them the right context. So what you do then is you go through each action item one by one and you ask yourself, okay, can I put this into a project or uh, is this actionable at all? So basically you start working uh, one by one and making sure that you assign them accordingly. So let's say, uh, I'll do this very quickly. This one will be personal single actions, a errand, because I have to go to the store. Next one, S change. this is a work, uh, probably single actions, people, Jenny. Okay, and call Joanne for a date. I don't have a date project for Tom, so I have two singles actions, and this will be a phone. Ask Jenny. Oh, I already have this. Great. Okay, so you have you have assigned everything. Uh, what you can do now is you do a cleanup. So you can either press here or use a nice shortcut, which is a lot faster, which is Command K. And boom, your inbox is clean. Okay, so the next phase is organizing. Now organizing is a phase I, I don't really use because what I just did within the processing phase is what I consider organizing. And organizing is just making sure that everything is in the right project and has the right context. So I already did that. So that's done. Now the next phase is the review phase. And to me, this has two components. The first one is your weekly review. And your weekly review is where you go into review mode in OmniFocus. Uh, this is actually really nice on the iPad, but I'll show you how to do it on the Mac. Uh, so what you get here is in review mode, you get all your projects in front of you. And what you want to figure out is if each project is still relevant or still current, if not, make sure it, uh, you put it on hold. 
if certain action items are still relevant, let's say send mom flowers on Mother's Day, considering today is not Mother's Day, uh, it's way beyond. So this is not relevant anymore. You can probably delete this. And you go through all your projects and action items and you make sure that everything is in, uh, in order and make sure it's still relevant. Now the next thing I do in review is what I call my daily review. And this is where I make a single actions list here. And I have certain things that I need to do every single morning to set myself up for a productive day. So this is what Aaron calls his uh, pre-work ritual making sure that he does certain things so that he sets himself up for a productive day. And I do something very similar. Um, so what I do here is I go through certain uh, steps every single morning, making sure that these help me put me in the right state of mind, making sure they prepare myself for the day where I'm planning to do a lot of work. So one of, one of the things I do is I review my annual goals because I always want to be aware of what I'm working towards. Second thing is uh, I review my calendar. So this is really important because if you have a lot of time sensitive stuff to do today, you want to make sure those things get done first. And then uh, they also affect how much work you can get done that day. Because if you have 10 meetings that day, then probably picking tasks to do that day won't be of much help because you, you simply don't have a lot of time. The next thing I want to look at is my waiting for. And this is something uh, you can look at your context here. Um, in another video about perspectives, I'll show you how to use this more in a nice, in a really nice way. But basically the idea is that I never want a project to be stalling because I'm waiting for something. So I want to make sure that when I review my waiting for that all projects are uh, in motion, that the next action is not something that I'm waiting for something. And it, if it is, then I'll have to intervene and make sure that project moves forward. Okay, and then the next thing is I process my inbox. So every morning before I work, I make sure I process my inbox because sometimes will be things in there that I want to work on that day. And the last thing I want to do is pick my most important task. So this is the idea of making sure that if you had only a couple things to do that day, you want to ensure that those things are the most productive for you. Because OmniFocus might give you, you know, millions of things to do, but you want to make sure that the things that you want to do are also the most productive. And that's why I also review my annual goals because by picking my most important task, I know that I want to make sure that the tasks that I'm going to pick align with my annual goals. Because productivity is simply the time you spend working towards your goals. And I want to make sure that by picking the right uh, task, and knowing what my goals are, that they can align with each other. So that way I make sure that I am productive. So I do this every single morning before I work. Um, the way you pick your task is really simple. Now let's say uh, Tom is in the office right now. So what you want to do then is you focus on the work folder or the area of responsibility you have and focus on there so that you can only see the things that you need in front of you. Now the next thing you need to do is uh, play around with the view filters. So make sure it's uh, turned on so by clicking here, view. And the project filter you set to active. Grouping can be anything, uh, sorting doesn't really matter. This is really important. Make sure the availability filter is set to available so that you only get action items in front of you that are actually available to you. And what you do now is you flag the action items that you consider most important for today. So I've done that already for you. So I picked that these three things are the most important, so I flagged them. So you simply click on the flag. Um, I usually just stick to a maximum of five flagged items. 
because in practice, that's like a good number to work with, especially when uh, you work in cycles of 50 minutes and 10 minute breaks. So once I figured out what my most important tasks are for today, I go to my flag perspective. This is already built in in OmniFocus. And this is where you see, okay, I flagged all these items, so I consider these things the most important things to do for today. And then the next phase of getting things done is the doing phase. So by looking at your flagged items, you know that if you do all these things, you had a really productive day. So if you finish all of them, boom, you're done for today, you did your most important task, you know that you worked on your annual goals, and you're done for today. And anything else that you do today is a nice bonus. So this is how my workflow works. The next day, you just do the same thing. You go over your daily review, you clean your inbox, and um, that's pretty much how it works. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact or leave a comment behind, and I will make sure to get back to you. And thanks for watching.